Hello, I made this video to explain what Genesis Pro is, because when Studio Press merged with WP Engine, something's got a bit confusing, and I was confused as to what Genesis Pro is, so I thought I'd explain. Right, with Genesis Pro, you've got different products bundled into one package. You've got a certain number of Genesis themes, now, if you go to the Studio Press homepage and you scroll down, you'll see a lot of themes that are labelled as third party. You see these third party, third party. There are a lot of third party themes. Now, when you get Genesis Pro, you don't get the third party themes. You get the Studio Press made themes. So if you filter here in the All Themes option, click Studio Press. Then if we scroll down, the only themes we're seeing now are themes made by Studio Press. So make sure when you're deciding whether or not you want to buy Genesis Pro that you know which themes you're getting. And what you get is a Studio Press themes and it's a one year subscription. You buy a one year subscription to use these tools. So what else do you get? Well. There's the Genesis Blocks plugin. And if you've used Atomic Blocks, this is like a premium version of Atomic Blocks. It's got a lot more built in page layouts and page sections. There's a free version of this, which is like Atomic Blocks, and there's a premium version. And if you buy Genesis Pro, you get the premium version with the added block library. Now there's also one called Genesis Custom Blocks. Now I'm not going to cover that in this video. You'll need to write some code if you use Genesis Custom Blocks. And Custom Blocks are blocks that you can make yourself, but that's a bit beyond the scope of this video. So let's get started. I've got a website and I've got an empty page. This I'm going to make a full page layout. So I've, got, I've made a page, I've got to edit the page. Now. I'm going to click the layout button. Now, if you've used atomic blocks, you'll be familiar with this, but there are more options with this. If you look at the different options, at the moment we're looking at page sections, but there's page sections and there's actual complete pages, but there are a lot more to choose from with the pro version. I'll show you the, uh, the page layouts. So there was sections, page sections. There's also page layouts. So we'll scroll through them. I'll give you an idea as well. These at the top are available for free, but the ones further down, these all come with the pro package. And they're actually quite nice and they're easy to use. And there's, there's quite a few of them. Then they are the full page layouts. Now I want to build a page from a full page layout. So what I'm going to do, so I'm in the layouts tab and I'm going to choose a layout. So I'll choose this one. Now that will be automatically added to my page. So all I need to do now is update. And we'll see what it looks like. View the page. This is the page we've just added. Now you can change all this text and the images. So if I edit the page, all you need to do is click inside the text to change it. So if I Triple click, I can just type my own text in there. Triple click to select a paragraph or double click to, to select a word. And because these are made from atomic blocks, you can change things like the background image. Now, if you want to change the background image, you'll have to find the 
column or the container that the image is applied to. So if I select this headline, then I've got all these breadcrumbs at the bottom here and you click through the different breadcrumbs. This image, this background image is actually in this advanced columns block here. So I've opened the background image and if I wanted to, I could change the image. I could just replace it with a different image. Now, one thing I quite like about this is this device mockup block. This here is a, a special block that you get with, it's part of Genesis Pro. Now I want to change that image. So all I need to do, click the button. I can then go to my media library. You'll need an image to change it with. I actually made these images using Snagit. You can um, crop images. Snagit's a really good way for cropping images. Now, I want to change the position of that image. So you can change the focal point. And so now it looks like I've got my own web page in that mock-up of a mobile phone. And there's another mock-up down here. So I've wanted to add a what looks like a um, iPad here. Click the image. Insert a new image inside that to mock up. Put that one in, select that one, and then change the focal point. And if I update, then view the page. It now looks like I've got a mobile phone with a web page screen inside it and an iPad. Now they're not as realistic as an actual photo of an iPad or a photo of a mobile phone, but they're very, very easy to use and they do look nice. Now I'll make a page from page sections to give you an idea of how you can build your own pages from sections. I'm going to edit this page. I made this page earlier, but I'm going to edit the page Click the Layouts button. And this time I'm using Page Sections. So if I scroll down and choose a section that I want to use. There's quite a few to choose from. So I'm going to add this one at the top of the page. I'm going to insert after. I'm going to add another layout. I choose one that I like the look of. I'm going to add this one. Now there's an image got in there, so I'm going to move that up one. Got. And I'm going to insert below this one. I'm going to use the layout. Choose the layout I want to use. I think I'll include that one. To move it up, I've got two empty blocks there. I'll just move it up. And I'll do one more, insert after. I'm going to add another layout. I'll find something I like the look of. I'm going to insert this portfolio block just to show you what a portfolio block is. I'm going to move it up a couple of blocks. I've inserted some uh, some extra empty blocks there. Right. Now this portfolio block is very similar to a, a Genesis featured post grid. It's just 
a grid of portfolio items. So you make a portfolio item, which is like a blog post, and then you can insert the portfolio block in your page. Hold on, I'll update just to show you what we've got. Now, if you view the page, all this text, you can just double click or triple click the text to change it. You can change the images. If you want to, you can change the background colors, the background images. You've got to add a different category for this portfolio block. But it's very easy to use. It really can boost your productivity. When you're making your mind up, remember you do not get all of the themes listed on the Studio Press site. You get the themes made by Studio Press. There are quite a lot of third party themes that you don't get, but you do get the Studio Press themes that are made by Studio Press. And you also get these ready made layouts. You can add to your page with just one click. You get the page sections and you get page layout which is a complete layout a complete web page layout that you can add to your page with just literally one click another thing you get is the ability to limit who can make changes to the blocks that you've added to your page and so if we open these up you've got these toggle switches so if you didn't want people to be able to change the color of your uh, the, dev the devices are the little iPad mock-ups. But you can actually disable the ability for people to change things like the colour or, or you know, drop shadow or whatever, which might matter to you. I think that will matter mainly to people who are running a, a large corporate type website where they don't want authors to make changes. But it's there if you, if you need it. It's a, a thing that's also there. You also get the pro version of custom blocks which lets you make your own blocks which is it's very powerful but you will have to use some code if you want to use that feature and i suspect quite a lot of people who buy genesis pro won't use custom blocks but it is there if you want to use it and if you if you do write code it will um, boost your productivity because it does save you time so just before we go the main things that i think most people will be interested in are these layouts and the studio press themes but remember you only get the themes made by studio press not third party themes anyway i like this i think it's a really good product but it is not cheap so work out how many customers you've got how many of them will want a, a site made like this and if you've got enough customers to make it worth your while i think this is a good product but it's not cheap so think before you buy Thanks for watching and bye for now.